Water. There's one word for it, but two ways to describe it. There's water we drink and water we can't drink. More and more of us are consuming this drinking water, which represents only an infinitesimal part of the resource available on Earth. In 20 years, 47% of the world's population will live in areas subject to serious water scarcity. And yet, 40% of us live near the coast. What if getting a mouthful of seawater could one day become enjoyable? What if we could actually drink seawater? Let's see how this is possible. To protect the marine ecosystem, seawater is pumped at a speed three times slower than a fish swims. This water is then filtered to remove all particles such as algae and sand. After this stage, only molecules of water and salt remain. The salt water is then sent at a very high pressure through an extremely fine membrane. The pressure exerted on the water during this process is equivalent to 100 elephants standing on a manhole cover. This is called reverse osmosis. The energy produced by this process is partly recovered and reused to operate the plant. For every two liters of salt water pumped, we obtain one liter of pure and demineralized water. The other liter of water, called brine, is twice as salty. After being treated and diluted, it is returned to its natural marine environment. The pure water is enriched with mineral salts essential for human health. And the water is then distributed in the drinking water network, all the way to the tap. Today, more and more plants are desalinating seawater, providing certain countries with nearly 60% of their drinking water. Desalination is a solution to meet the 21st century's water requirements. In 2015, desalinated water will already represent more than 2% of water consumed, and thanks to research and innovation, the technology is improving every day.